Hello Internet. I'm back with a little overview this time of the Dark Tower, the Gunslinger Omnibus. The original Gunslinger, or Dark Tower Omnibus, and then here's the Gunslinger. Just wanted to let you see the different sizes there. These are the collections of the material Marvel's been doing based on the series by Stephen King. So here's the original. You got the main Omnibus and the Companion. A lot more. Uh, bonus matter there, but I did a different video on that you can watch. Here is the Gunslinger Omnibus. It matches with the slipcase. This one's green instead of brown. It looks really nice. And then again, the Omnibus and the Companion, the back matter that was in the original issues and interviews and things like that. So let's go ahead and see what these look like. Sorry, trying to do this one handy. So here's the companion, a sketch variant, and here's the omnibus. So you get the nice jacket on there. Shows you all the different people that have worked on here. Robin Firth has worked with Stephen King concerning the Dark Tower for a long, long time. Published some. Um, compendiums and stuff to go along with the Dark Tower material. Peter David, uh, the main writer for this series, and then Eisenhoff did a lot of the art besides just the coloring, did some of the art, the pencils and stuff as well, and then we get storylines by Sean Phillips, Luke Ross, Michael Lark, uh, Lawrence Campbell, and Alex Maleev, um, where the original Dark Tower uh, omnibus was all done by uh, Jay Lee with colors by Eisenhoff and some additional helps, I think, by Eisenhoff. So that's the slipcase. Tells you a little bit about the different um, story arcs that are collected in here. And then it looks black, but this is actually a green book. You can see there. The spine, and then just plain flat green. And on this one, you got the creators. And this is a light green as well. It's, I don't know the color's off, but I don't know how I'd describe that. Almost a mint, a sage green. Not quite a sage, I guess. You know, a pastel sage, if that makes sense. Beautiful title pages, even the uh, intro by Ralph Macchio, and we get right into it. The first one, the journey begins. Uh, While well, the first uh, Gunslinger or Dark Tower, excuse me, Dark Tower Omnibus was a lot of original material besides um, sort of the flashback story from Wizard and Glass. This one is basically all material from the Gunslinger, the very first volume in. The Dark Tower Saga. Uh, you also get a short story called Little Sisters of Allura, which was in, uh, I believe, Everything's Eventual is the story collection that, by Stephen King that that originally appeared in, but that's what you get in here. You get the novel broken down into a couple of story arcs, and then you get the Little Sisters of Allura put in here as well. And it's more of Roland Deschain as he travels toward the Dark Tower to save all of reality. So you can see some of the artwork here. Reminiscent in tone and style from the original uh, series here. Dark Tower, here's the Little Sisters story. These nurses are not what they seem, which is always the case in these sorts of stories. Um, this 
whole saga by Stephen King is kind of a, a sweeping fantasy sci-fi epic with heavy Western tropes, obviously. Um, it's sort of in a parallel reality to our Earth. They actually travel to our Earth. You'll see some of that. If they uh, put together an omnibus for the drawing of the three, uh, which is what Marvel is currently publishing, uh, we'll see some of that. As Roland calls the rest of his traveling companions to him. The Gunslinger actually is a decent one to do in this style uh, as a series of short uh, story arcs. Um, as or was originally published as short stories in, I believe it was in Fantasy and Science Fiction magazine, the literary magazine. Um, so if you just pick it up to read it as a novel, it actually has a kind of a strange flow and feel, and that's why, because it's actually a series of short stories that are chronological, they do all fit together, but it's a series of short stories all put together for the book. Oh yeah, there's also a couple of one-shots in here, uh, one called Shimi's Tale, um, they have one about the rise of John Farson or something like that. Um, some characters that you meet throughout the, the Dark Tower saga that come into play. So you get some of those things in here as well. But it was everything that was published in kind of the second run of the Dark Tower stuff. And then in the back of this first volume here, you get a cover gallery. Some of those are just beautiful. I just love these Alex Malieve ones. Show you the companion. I'll show you the back here, sorry. Another sketch variant. It's the same artwork just with the inks only. And so let's start with the full size cover gallery here. I guess oversized cover like that's just breathtaking too. That one's by Lawrence Campbell. Colors by Eisenhoff. And leaf covers. And you get some more uh, what they call apocrypha. Um, some backup stories, different alternate tales, or um, I guess folklore from Midworld, the land in which the Gunslinger saga takes place. Uh, and this is actually an interview or a, in a foreword written by Robin Firth here. Uh, and actually, Robin does a lot of the other stories and things that were originally back matter. So, just called Journey Continues. I think this is. Uh, sort of a making of. He was about a creature called the Billy Bumbler that show up from time to time. Uh, the Wheel of Ka. Ka, kind of the idea of destiny and fate. This one's about the Little Sisters. sorts of stuff in here. Which is pretty neat. I'm glad they put these companions in here. Uh, the regular the regular size hardcovers don't have any of this stuff. Um, the only way to get this stuff is the original issues or these omnibuses. So there you go. There's some interviews with Stephen King. Some sketch breakdowns, some art breakdowns. Some process stuff from a couple of the artists here. 
beautiful stuff in here. Lots of that stuff. Basically from initial concept to finished product for some of these. Really neat stuff. If you're at all interested in the process. Some alternate covers there. Some processes that they did. There you go. Hope you enjoy.